Hi, Facebook friends. Helen Arcantu here, CEO of the YWCA of Northern New Jersey, and my pronouns are she, her, hers. Mm -hmm. So happy to have some time with you on this Friday, TGIF, um, uh, actually uh, TG, uh, ICF. I guess it's a little icy out there if you're in New Jersey or in uh, our part of Northern New Jersey. We had a, a little bit of a snowstorm um, and uh, we're kind of dealing with some of the after effects today, but it's a perfect day then means that we are hopefully all somewhere cozy and warm to just embrace a wonderful kickoff for the weekend um, that, uh, you know, focuses on personally some of my very favorite things, um, eating healthy, supporting a local owned business, and one that is focused on, you know, all the things that I personally love. So um, hopefully you're somewhere cozy, curled up with a cup of tea and, um, and you know, ready to learn all about Lynn Bello. Um, who is the founder of the Mindful Cafe. Um, and we are so excited to bring this business to you if you um, are not already aware of it. Um, welcome, Lynn. So happy to have you. Thank you, Helen. Thank you. Thank you for having me. And I know you are actually live at the cafe as we speak. So uh, yes, we're, we're, we're so happy to see a little bit of it right there behind you. I know that's your pup. We talked before. So uh, we've got your pup there. And um, so looking forward to learning more for our viewers. Um, let me tell you a little bit about Lynn. Uh, she wanted to open an organic coffee and tea shop for over 15 years. Um, little did she know that her passion for organic coffee and tea would blossom into a full blown restaurant and retail concept. Funny how things happen. Um, it's an organic uh, culinary destination within Ramsey's, New Jersey's vibrant scene over there. Um, it, the cafe recently expanded into having a retail space carrying organic, non-toxic products from local artisans and ethical vendors. Uh, her motivation to educate herself on the importance of eating organic began when she had children of her own. However, her passion for organic food and nutrition deepened when her youngest son, became a competitive hockey player, and his nutritional needs inspired her to share her knowledge with others by materializing her dream of opening this organic eatery. Um, the cafe aims to empower and inspire a local community to invest in their bodies and embrace organic, clean food. For too long, eating has become um, uh, had had become kind of had this, this kind of clean eating had a bit of a negative connotation. She aims to prove that eating clean um, does not have to be bland. It can be flavorful. It can be exciting. It can be beautiful. Um, and it's wonderful that it can be filled with locally sourced organic ingredients. Um, at the heart of the mission of the Mindful Cafe, um, it's very simple. When your body feels healthy, your mind will follow. I love that. Um, so Lynn, I, I love everything about your cafe. I can't wait to personally get there. I know, uh, one of our team got there recently and couldn't yeah. stop raving about, about it. Um, so I read in your bio, obviously, um, that you started eating and living, uh, healthier after you had kids. Uh, so I know that that happens for a lot of us that we really rethink things when that, you know, a shift happens in our life because you really become very aware of what you're putting in their body, you know, to want to keep them healthy and strong. Right. Um, can you talk a little bit about, you know, that aha that happened for you and um, how it kind of transformed you to, to, you know, your whole thinking? Sure, sure. Um, as you said, you know, once you have children, um, everything changes and you're trying to do your best in getting good, healthy food into them. And let's face it, they all have, you know, issues with texture and, and spices and everything else. So just trying to figure that all out and make things look as beautiful as you can and tasty as you can and healthy as you can, you know, it, it takes years sometimes to perfect it. Um, my husband actually comes from a very healthy family. Um, he grew up as, as a vegetarian. So there was always, you know, that in our house where, you know, we were looking in towards how we can make vegetables taste better. So it, it kind of started there. Um, and as I mentioned, I have three children, but my, my youngest um, was always a competitive athlete, probably from the time he was five, you know, it's just in his blood. 
and he plays hockey now. Um, and, you know, one of the things that we were always striving for was um, getting, you know, being able to have enough energy, um, not being out there for hours and being hungry and not living on sugar, which I see so many of these kids do, you know, they'll be heading to a baseball game <clears throat> where they have to play for three hours and they're eating sugar or eating something that they deem as healthy, like a hot dog or something. So through that, um, you know, we really started reading a lot of books, researching, um, just using also all our years of how we've eaten ourselves and, and my husband's family and so on. And um, as you mentioned, I always had an interest in, I actually really wanted to open up a tea shop. Always loved the idea of medicinal teas. And there's so many teas that benefit you in so many ways. And um, that, that idea just expanded. So, but when we first opened up, we also wanted to be um, kind of a community center for we're located right across the street from Ramsey High School, where my son had gone to school. And um, we wanted to be a full service, um, like where kids could come in, learn about organic food, um, be able to, we were actually doing uh, uh, tutoring then. We were tutoring for SAT, ACT, we had a homeschool. So we wanted to be a complete learning center where you would you know, not only be able to get something really healthy and delicious to eat, but also do your homework, meet with the tutor. Um, unfortunately, COVID kind of, <laughs> that part of the business did not survive COVID. Um, kids were working remotely. They really, you know, didn't want to continue doing that. And people didn't want to sit in a small room with a teenager <laughs> at that point. So we decided to expand the organic food into our bodies and not only what we put in it, but what we put on it. So we decided to open up a retail apothecary and we did a lot of research into products that are non-toxic, ethically sourced, you know, at, uh, don't, you, you know, do not use animals for testing, that sort of thing. And we also wanted to, to support other small businesses who are making a lot of the products that we carry, you can't find on Amazon. There are other small business that um, make things in small batches. So, you know, the shelf lives are a little longer because they are, you know, they're preservative free. So they're not going to last 20 years on the shelf, you know. Um, so that was important to us that that we find companies that make products um, that are not only healthy and everything, but that will last, you know. Um, so anyhow, I think we have a a very, very nice array of products are uh, reasonably priced. And again, you know, um, we have tinctures, we have um, solves for different pro for different um, eczema or, or sunburn or, you know, um, anti-aging. And we also have uh, wonderful candles that are, you know, soy and coconut based. And um, a, a lot of people don't realize how toxic candles can be. They are one of the most toxic things you could burn in your home. And, you know, they smell great, sure. But um, we wanted to make sure we had good, healthy candles that people can have. And um, yeah, so it's it, it's just been a nice extension and people could come, they could eat, they could shop. Um, and we also, so some of the rooms that we had for tutoring, we now also use, we have four private rooms that people can um, rent for, you know, if they're working remotely and they, they need a space for meetings or um, they have small children still at home or dogs or whatever, they could get away to a space that's very reasonably priced. And um, a lot of people like working here in those offices because then they don't have far to go to eat. <laughs> yeah. So well, that, it sounds like you thought of everything, you know, from that uh, perspective of creating kind of a, an all-inclusive experience, you know, for uh, folks that come in and, and use um, your uh, cafe there. Um, so you said a lot. Let me break it down into some pieces for us to focus conversation. So let's start with the food first. First of all, I yeah. have to say I love that you are sharing your how your dream evolved into something that, you know, um, 
you know, was not even, you know, in your mind when you kind of jumped into this space. Um, it's a uh, it's so inspirational and I think such a motivator for others watching who might have an idea, you know, just to know that, um, you know, it can happen and also can be bigger than you ever, you know, intended. Uh, because obviously you've shared so many pieces um, to your dream that added on to it and, and its evolution um, that was not part of your initial intention. But my goodness, what a, you know, what a tremendous impact. Um, but let's start with the food because you are a cafe because I think, you know, that that um, is something, you know, someone may, people still have this like negative um, thought about like health food or, you know, right. clean food as just being tasteless and, um, you know, but you talked so much about your research and, um, you know, the, the real thought that went behind kind of creating a menu. Um, you know, yeah. that, that is different than that. Could you talk a little bit about the menu and, you sure. know, why, why we should eat clean and, you know, the, the ingredients that of you course. use? So, you know, um, one of the, the things I, I know I mentioned the high school and my kids and um, one of the things that I wanted to do is take that, that, that way that people think of eating healthy, like, oh, everything is kale and you know, no salt and no this and no that. And, and that's not, you know, that's not the case. But I wanted to take something, for example, one of our uh, sandwiches that a lot of people love is our buffalo chicken panini. And, you know, you think about that and that doesn't sound that healthy, right? But it can be. So you just need to get good organic chicken. You need to you know, use a sauce that's not loaded with corn syrup and sugar. And, you know, we have a very, we have a great source. It's a sauce. It's organic, of course. And our bread um, also, most of the breads we use are actually from Balthazar. Um, and, you know, although Balthazar bread is not necessarily organic, it is um, preservative free. Their flour is actually non-GMO. Um, it's very, very fresh and, and it's delicious. It's one of the, you know, better breads that you can eat. We also have organic versions for people who want that, but, um, and of course we have gluten-free options, which is super important for a lot of people. Um, that was another factor in, um, eating clean for people who are, who have celiac or, you know, just want to be gluten-free, it is very important to make sure that you're eating in a place where they understand that and respect that. And because um, there's a lot of restaurants now that say they have gluten free food, but people who have celiac will go there and actually get sick because they're not keeping things separate. They're not, you know, um, the cross contamination is, is a big thing. And although we are not exclusively gluten free, we do keep things separate. We keep things wrapped. We wrap everything before it goes on the panini press in uh, parchment tape paper. We, you know, we're just extremely careful. And I think that's really important. Um, my chef comes from the Natural Gourmet Institute. And um, so she is an expert in, um, you know, cooking like this and eating like this. And she's, she's also Indian. So she has like just these wonderful spices that she uses and just really knows how to bring things to life and make them beautiful. So we're very fortunate to have Smita with us. Um, that has, you know, she's been with me from the very beginning. Um, we're actually friends before I started the cafe or kids are friends, you know, so, um, and the same thing with my gluten-free products. That's also someone who I knew and um, she has, her whole family is gluten-free and has just became an expert baker um, based on her own family needs. And when we opened the cafe, I said to her, would you bake for us? And so, you know, I feel like everything is, um, was pulled together with, you know, other people who had like-minded and, you um, this is important and it's passion to all of, for all of us. It's not just a business, you know, obviously it is a business, but it, it means, it means more to us, you know? Um, so that, that's wonderful to hear about that, like the community that you've created to support 
the community. I mean, it, that that's really, you know, um, sounds uh, that, you know, you, I, you know, it really makes a difference. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. You, I got off track on the, from the menu. So our menu uh, is, is somewhat simple, but um, there's something for everybody. I mean, we have uh, vegetarian options, vegan options, gluten-free. Um, uh, if you do eat meat, again, our, our chicken is, you know, um, organic, free range. Um, when people, I think people taste the difference. We don't fry anything. We do bake everything. Um, you know, we have delicious homemade soups. Um, even most of our, our baked goods are, are homemade or they come from a very reliable pastry chef. Um, yeah. So, so we have rice bowls, salads, sandwiches, um, you know, in terms of, I think with, with, within each category, there's five or six options. So there always seems to be plenty to eat. We, our avocado toast is a, is a, people love our avocado toast. Yeah. We have a shiitake bake, uh, fake and bacon avocado toast where we do the, the shiitake bacon as the bacon <laughs> and poached eggs, you know, with, um, pickled shallots and, and, guacamole on a sourdough bread and um, people really love that um, and we do serve breakfast all day long you know I that's something I always wanted like two o'clock in the afternoon if I want eggs I want to be able to eat eggs <laughs> I love yeah. that I love we that. also have um, smoothies um, our smoothies are, are are fabulous they're made with you know all organic fruit um, we generally use almond milk or coconut milk um, sometimes depending on the smoothie, we could also use coconut water. Um, you know, if someone wants real milk, obviously we'll use it. So, but it's all made to order. So you can do whatever you want, you know, but, um, our smoothies are very delicious and do not taste, um, like they're healthy at all. <laughs> well, it all sounds good. And ha having this conversation right before lunch definitely has, uh, made me wish that I was closer so I could come over today. But um, it, it, I mean, it's what a, um, you know, what a great wide, um, you know, array of offerings, you know, for anyone coming in. And, you know, like you said, it, it's, you know, it really is all about the preparation. So healthy food can be delicious and beautiful. And, um, you know, when you have an expert chef and an expert baker um, and, you know, an expert, uh, you know, mindset of a shop owner together, you know, it sounds like the perfect storm for some great meals. And I, um, I love that you shared about kind of not only the gluten free, but the real sensitivities around celiac, because I've heard that from friends, um, you know, that, uh, you know, live with celiac that, you know, you'll go someplace and eat something gluten free, and then you'll get very, very ill, you right. know, because, you know, you can't trust, you know, when you're actually living with celiac, you can't necessarily trust it unless you understand their um, kind of practice. Um, you know, yeah. so it's uh, it's wonderful to hear that and to share that with the community so people can take note um, from that perspective. So, you know, you kind of gave us a great idea about what's on the menu. So let's talk about the retail space that you've created back there. And I know you really talked about how you curate the products so that they're mm -hmm. at the source and organic and, you know, all of those pieces. Um, you know, can you give us, uh, I know, we you know, you talked about the candles, which I'm so glad you shared, because a lot of people don't realize that the, the how, you know, the, the carcinogens and, you know, how deadly candles can be if they are not made properly. Um, so thank you for lifting that up. And it's great to know that there's someplace local that we can go buy some great healthy options. So what else are some of your favorite items in your retail space, just so our viewers can get a sense with what else they could buy in your beautiful little apothecary behind you sure, there? Sure, sure. Yeah, well, behind me are some of uh, the candles, but we also have wonderful, um, some of our, our hand creams and body mousses are just amazing. You know, they're made with um, jasmine and avocado oil and um, shea butter and... Again, you don't need to have all these things that you can't pronounce in your products, you know. Um, and uh, that um, they also that same company makes a um, it's a perfume that's a roll-on, which ha does not contain alcohol. 
um, which is almost typically that you can't make perfume without alcohol. Um, and I know some people will actually spray their perfume on their clothes so they don't have to have it on their body. But, you know, you can, you can actually, you know, have a, a good, healthy perfume that you don't have to worry about that. Um, and they use a lot of essential oils for, for scent, again, rather than having um, all sorts of chemicals that you're putting on your body to, to, to smell good. <laughs> um, ultimately, this stuff, you know, your, your, your skin is your major organ. And when you're, you know, we, there are people that are crazy about eating well, and then they just lather up with poison. And it's, um, you know, it, it's not good. It's not good. So I, I love to have these options and they're, you know, beautiful. I mean, the sense, the way they feel. Um, what I've been doing is I've been going through the apothecary and, you know, we have testers. I actually, when I get a new product, I take home the tester and I use it for like a couple of days, day and night so that I can really feel it. And, and it starts to become hard because I love everything. And now I'm starting to get all this stuff at home and it's like, <laughs> aren't you supposed to be selling this? But, <laughs> but um, especially our um, moisturizers and um, some of the uh, cleansers. And it's just, it's just nice to be using something that you know is, is actually good for you. You don't have to worry about it, you know. It makes such a difference for your skin. I know we recently had, um, you know, we've had a few um, women entrepreneurs on our show that have had lines that are um, organic and all natural. And, um, you know, again, you've shared what they've shared, which is something, you know, that's so important to get out there is that people do go out of their way to eat healthy, some folks, but then they don't, you know, skin healthy, right? And then if you're, if you're not, um, you know, if, if you're, if that, and it, it really does, as you said, we forget that skin is our like biggest organ, you know, and that it really goes right into, right into your body. So, um, you know, the deodorant you use, the um, skin products you use, the makeup you use, the lip gloss you use, you know, any of those and things. Shampoo. Like, shampoo yeah. is huge, correct. Yeah. Hair dye, you know, all of those things. But, you know, it's nice to have such a local, um, op for, you know, like option in the Mindful Cafe to go grab items. And I can tell you as someone who had has made the switch to, you know, natural products that um, it your skin looks different, your skin feels different. And um, it uh, it's it's great. It's just great to feel like you're supporting a small business when they create something for you and the packaging right. is different. Like everything about it is a different experience. So I do encourage everyone to, you know, try and it's great that we have such a, you know, you can get a nice meal and, you know, walk out with a few, you know, beauty products, you know, get a, get a, um, you know, a coffee or a tea. If you're me, it's always tea, but, and, and, um, you know, have such a nice, uh, you know, a nice experience right, right here in uh, Ramsey, New Jersey, you know, set up for you. So, you. so Lynn, I wanted to ask you though, before we leave each other, because, um, you know, the time goes quickly We, uh, you know, when, when we're chatting about, um, stuff we love, you know, you talked about how your business shifted during COVID, obviously, because yeah. of the, you know, of what was happening. And you also talked about how your initial idea kind of morphed into something so much, you know, bigger than you had anticipated. Um, you know, what advice do you have for our, you know, women entrepreneurs that are out there watching um, who are, you know, have an idea and are thinking about, you know, what, you know, can they do it? Um, can they survive changes and, and, you know, life situations like COVID, you know, can they, can they make their dream happen? You know, what, what's, what, what kind of message do you have for them? Well, I do think that if you are passionate about something and you want it to happen, um, you know, don't stop. Like, you know, there's, there's, you need to speak to other people who, you know, are experts in the area um, that you're interested in doing, you know, whether it be, you know, go to, I mean, in my case, I did speak with other, you know, organic um, uh, cafes. And, you know, we looked into, um, uh, again, the original idea of having a, a learning center, right? Um, so looking at other learning centers and just really do your research. 
and and see, you know, look at what businesses are doing and what you want to how you would do it differently and why you, you know, you think it would it would do better differently. Um, you know, talk to a lot of people. I think you have to be as open as you can be. It's not like you want to um, just keep everything to yourself and then, you know, <laughs> say, oh, we have this great plan. Um, you know, you want to just do as much research as possible and um, and then go with it because, I, you know, it, it, it does take time. You know, you have to be prepared for that. You don't, you don't, hit the ground running and everything is, oh, you know, this is great. I'm selling all this stuff right away. You have to be prepared for that. That's for sure. Um, but it can be done. Um, you know, I should mention, we were talking about, I don't know, sometimes I think this is just assumed, but it is, um, we, our coffee and tea are both organic. And that's another thing that people don't really think about, that they will eat you know, look for organic fruits and vegetables, which is so important, but then drink a regular cup of coffee, which has a lot of pesticides in it. So, um, you know, it's just good to think about everything that you're doing, not just, and, and of course, any change is a good change, um, you know, one step in the right direction, but it is something to just think about as well. Yeah, and it is. It's incremental from the for the personal perspective. It's definitely incremental. Each thing can lead, hopefully, to you building on a you know healthier, healthier lifestyle. And you know, it's great that you mentioned the coffee. We even know that about tea bags. A lot of people don't realize that a lot of tea bags are have bleach in them and other you know okay. um, really harmful um, you know chemicals. And then you're putting them in water and then you're drinking it. You know, so it's really right. important. You know, th these. You know, th this may seem fluffy, you know, to some people or unnecessary, but if you really think about it, it is at the core when we talk about health, um, you know, if you if we make some of these decisions up front, then on the back end, you know, it probably will, it, it, you know, it will definitely have a big payoff um, in terms of, you know, your, our longevity and, you know, our health and um, wealth uh, for our bodies, for sure. And I appreciate you sharing um, you know, again, the process that you went through and, you know, making sure you do your research and connect and network. Um, those are all great, uh, you know, it's all great advice for our women business owners that are, um, you know, contemplating uh, and wrestling with some ideas and trying to figure out if it's ever something that can just kind of get out of their mind. Um, Lynn, you're personally living my dream. Uh, tea shop is definitely uh, has always <laughs> been um, where uh, you know, where I want to end up someday. So I so I was just so excited to um, talk with you. I can't wait to get there. And um, I am so grateful that you could spend some time and, you know, give us this inspiration and this detail about what you're doing. And it's really, you know, what you have going on there is really a movement. Um, it's a form of activism. It's a form of um, you know, it's, it's obviously health and wellness. It's, it's so, there's so many pieces, you know, of, of what you're doing and, um, you know, grateful that you spearheaded it and modeled it for others. For our viewers, it's right in Ramsey, New Jersey, go check it out. Um, you can bring your laptop, hang out for the day. And, you know, one of the, one of the office spaces there, as Lynn shared, you can do your shopping, you know, walk out with some skin products, a great candle, you know, get some coffee and tea to bring home um, so you can live the experience when you're gone and then have a great meal while you're there, too, and a, and a drink for the ride home. So, um, you know, you can do it all at the Mindful Cafe. We have the links in the comments for you so that you can check it out yourself. Um, and, uh, you know, Shania, who's watching right now, is saying has she never has thought about all of the um intricacies of what you're eating and your skincare in, these, in this way. So um, thank you so much, Lynn, for getting us thinking a little bit differently. I encourage everyone to follow the Mindful Cafe on social media platforms um, so that you can also see what the specials are and what the, you know, what the new products are there, you know, stay connected. It'll definitely inspire you to get yourself over there to, to try it. And um you know, oh, and can I just mention one other thing that in our the, the apothecary also converts to a party space. So, for example, we'll be soon having a, a baby shower. Um, uh, we've had um, how I met you guys and networking events for, for women. And um, so, you know, if you are local and need a we've had karaoke parties in here. Um, it's 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 a great space. It's warm. It's inviting. We're very hard to to get it 
to be this relaxing, you know, when you walk in, you just feel good environment. And it is a great, if you are looking for a local space to host something, um, you know, think about us. Yeah, that, that's a great option. I know sometimes people, you know, think about these, you know, big catering halls, you know, for events. It's so nice to have like an intimate location, um, you know, like yours that, you know, the parking's there, the great food is there. Um, and, you know, what a, what a great idea for a baby shower too. Because again, that's, you know, you're thinking about uh, the, the generation coming, um, <laughs> you know, it's health as well in that. So, um, so folks, please make sure that you check out the Mindful Cafe. And again, what a great way to start the weekend, kind of focusing on self-care a little bit, you know, making these choices for yourself and your loved ones, you know, in this real um, focused and mindful way. Um, for our viewers, we hope you stay connected to us next week. We have lots more YWTV for you. And next week is the kickoff. We're, go we're moving into Women's History Month. Um, we're moving into uh, our annual Women's Leadership Conference. We are still keeping it virtual um, from, for us for one more year here. Um, but we've got great speakers for you um, once a week, each week of March for one hour. We have a curated, wonderful conversation focused on how you can be unapologetically you. Um, kicking off with our keynote um, on March 3rd with um, uh, a great, great, great speaker. And I can't wait for you to hear her. Um, we have the links here in um, the comments so that you can register. There's no charge for the conference and each week. Um, fill yourself up a little bit. I'd say take your laptop to the Mindful Cafe and listen to the, to the Women's Leadership Conference. Have yourself a lovely um, cup of warm tea um, and uh, a meal while you're enjoying it. Um, we also encourage everyone to speak to the young women in your life um, it, for it to be part of our Energizing Young Voters series that's kicking off on March 3rd, which is a three-week series um, that uh, starts at 6.30 p.m. You can register on our website. Again, no charge for it. It's a joint project with the League of Women Voters, and it's a great opportunity to help our young women think about the importance of voting, how to research issues, um, how to pick candidates. Um, and, uh, you know, these issues all intersect when you talk about what Lynn is talking about today. We're talking about making decisions um, and voting, you know, all connects to, um, you know, uh, uh, all of, you know, all of what we're talking about here. So it's so important. Um, and so with that, even though it's an icy day, let's think about summer camp. We have the registration information for that, too. Look, everyone, have a great weekend, um, a safe weekend, fun weekend. Energize yourself. Go grab a great uh, meal over with uh, Lynn. And Lynn, again, thank you so much for sharing your story. Um, um, I'll be cheering you on and watching you evolve. And, um, you know, so grateful that uh, you've helped uh, bring some clearly much needed information and inspiration to us all. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Have Bye, everyone. Week. Have a Bye. great weekend.